now that you know about photosynthesis have you ever thought of how the organisms like mushrooms or some of them like fungi or even for that matter an amoeba which is a microorganisms and some other microorganisms survive without having a mechanism to produce their own food if they can't make their own food how do you think they are going to get their nutrients big questions are huh? let's explore in this video the first type of nutrition we are going to discuss is saprophytic nutrition in saprophytic nutrition organisms feed on dead and decaying matter fungi are classic examples of saprophytic nutrition in action have you ever seen a mold growing on a bread the gray stuff on the decaying bread is known as mold and it gets its nutrition from the decaying bread this is an example of saprophytic nutrition in action another example would be mushrooms growing in damp forest these mushrooms cannot produce their own food and hence they absorb nutrients from the dead and decaying matter on the ground so this type of nutrition where organisms feed on the dead and decaying matter is known as saprophytic nutrition and the organisms that do this are called saprophytes uh, next we have parasitic nutrition where organisms obtain their nutrients from living organism this living organism is known as the host and the ones that rely on them for nutrients are known as parasites in this relationship parasites benefit by getting nutrients but the host doesn't get anything in return no benefit at all let's see an example take this guy for example a microorganism called plasmodium since plasmodium or puts poor guy can't produce their own food what do they do they just live on mosquito for free and take nutrients from mosquito the poor mosquito has to fly around and bite us while plasmodium lives on for free when the mosquito bites humans this plasmodium is transferred to the human body and causes the disease known as malaria another example of a parasite found in the plant world is malung and nirmoli they latch on to other plants like this big tree drawing water nutrients directly from their host so parasitic nutrition is a bit like scavenging but at the expense of other living organism in symbiotic nutrition that is third type of heterotrophic nutrition two organisms live for their mutual benefit a great example of this is lichens what are lichens lichens are these organisms that live on bare rocks trees etc as you might have seen and what are they they are a beautiful partnership between fungi and algae so fungi and algae form lichens and in this relationship fungus provide shelter and absorb moisture whereas algae produce food from photosynthesis and thereby benefiting mutually unlike parasitic nutrition where remember the host had no benefit but here they mutually benefit this unique partnership then allows lichens or lichens to thrive in extreme environments like bare rocks tree trunks etc and that's known as symbiotic nutrition and finally we have holozoic nutrition the feeding style of animals animals as you know consume other organisms grass like plants and animals and they digest this complex food to obtain nutrients like from the microorganisms like amoeba which feeds on food particles to cows that graze on the grass and to humans that eat variety of food holozoic nutrition is one of the most common ways organisms obtain energy and sustain themselves 
All right, uh, now that we have discussed different type of heterotrophic nutrition, let's summarize each of them. We saw the first type of heterotrophic nutrition that is saprophytic nutrition. In saprophytic nutrition, the organisms feed on the dead and decaying, just like a mold surviving on decaying bread. The second type of heterotrophic nutrition is parasitic or parasitic nutrition where the organisms obtain nutrient from other organisms known as host and remember here the host does not benefit from the other organism that is living on it an example of this would be the plasmodium which lives on the mosquito what did we see next the third type of heterotrophic nutrition is known as symbiotic nutrition where there exists a symbiotic relationship or they live together for mutual benefit just like in lichens where fungus and algae live together and benefit from each other and finally the most common type of nutrition that is known as holozoic nutrition where organisms consume other organisms like an amoeba feeding onto the food particle to human beings eating variety of food, to cows grazing on grass. These are examples of holozoic nutrition. Now, when you go out, why not observe this in your environment? Look for fungi on the fallen tree parts. Observe lichens on the trees on the way back to home from school. And you may also find some of these algae lichen symbiotic relationship on rocks and understand their nutritional strategies to survive.